Yeah. So hi, everybody. Let's start for this new uh, infra meeting. Um, we don't have specific topics that we have to discuss today, so I will just I will just start uh, a quick overview. So the first thing is the um, so as last last week I mentioned that we had some issues with the Fastly accounts. So um, I created a Fastly account. I was supposed to be granted um, with a specific open source. Um, I was supposed to join the open source program, and we had some issues, and it should be solved now. So um, either today or tomorrow, I should start configuring um, fastly to to use. I mean, to, to use the CDN for Jenkins that I own. So this is something that should be coming uh, in the coming days. Otherwise, the main topic has been to work on um, the Jenkins release automation project. So we did a lot of um, testing around the packages that we are generating. We, we spotted a few bugs um, and, that, and we fixed those bugs. And uh, now we are mainly working on the documentation. So I sent an email on the mailing list one hour ago um, asking for feedback if people are interested to, I mean, um, just asking for more fees, for, for more feedbacks. Um, and otherwise, we should try to, to plan a release probably next week, uh, depending on how the, the coming days is happening. Um, so yeah, do you have any question or do you want to bring any specific topic? So the thing I, is the, the yeah, yeah. I liked I liked Oleg's suggestion. Should we already consider we were delayed this week on doing the weekly? I assume Oleg that the weekly has not yet happened even now. And thus is this an excuse to say let's test drive the this with the current weekly? Uh, yeah, we can uh, do that. Uh, so basically somebody just needs uh, to pin Kiki and say that whatever you were doing, please don't. Uh, I haven't sent a message yet, but if you have an opportunity, why not? There is nothing really critical in this release. Well, so, for me, so, yeah. I like I like that approach because it lets us do it during a weekday without feeling obligated to do it Sunday night to match with something that had been done previously. So it's a great excuse assume, to try it. I assume we'd do it on Monday. Even if we weren't to do it this week, we'd do it on the Monday, wouldn't we? Just so that it's not on the weekend. Uh, agreed agreed in the future but yeah uh, that's valid point so yeah my my only concern to do it right now is that there is one last bugs that i would like to solve um so basically right now we are generating index.html so basically it many cover package the jenkins that i own so when we generate the artifact we publish those artifacts and then we generate a website uh, with information like how to install debian how to install red hat and so on and there is still a last last bug that I would like to fix uh, on that part. So it does not really impact the release process or the packages that we are generating, but more like um, when we generate a new release, we also publish, um, uh, we also update the pack package website. So I'm I'm much less worried about that than I am about the things that mm. I think we don't yet know about, but we will learn about by the virtue of running through the process, yep. the, yeah. the package page. I suspect there are many, many more things that we haven't yet discovered that are that are that need need further attention. Okay. So otherwise, yeah, we can we can start. Um, so what, Oleg? What would be your? Uh, when would you like to start this tomorrow? Well, uh, for me, I would prefer to do it tomorrow on Thursday, so that we have some time to react. Okay. Uh, basically, I can just uh, dedicate almost all the time. Uh, I can send heads up to KK, but yeah, the team is here, Alex is here, uh, Mark is here. So basically, uh, all core maintainers are around. Okay. Uh, except Oliver, but uh, for Oliver, it's less of a concern at the moment until we ship LTS. Okay. So. I would give it a try. Uh, in the worst case, we botch the weekly release. We send a message to PK asking to stand, uh, ship a new release on the top of that. Uh, okay, not uh, something uh, unknown. That sounds like a good plan. And for me, for the things that I want to push, um, I only one, one only I only need one or two hours to to, to implement that. So uh, it should be ready for 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 Thursday. Well, so could we? I haven't yet integrated. <laughs> um, KK released 15 minutes ago. 
Oh, okay, done. Even better. This still gives <laughs> us an excuse. We could release a new weekly and and just admit it's a discard, couldn't we? Oh, I can probably well, merge a couple of things. Yeah, uh, so you have a lot of things in the backlog uh, and in the pull request queue. So creating a safe release for tomorrow or Thursday is still doable. Okay. Maybe even a mock release without changes, though we definitely can integrate something. There's, there's one that's ready with, with a true line documentation change. And core maintainer guide. <laughs> oh, oh, and the maintainer guide. Yes, there you go. Get that one merged. Yes. Uh, well, uh, uh, these changes on user facing. I would prefer to lend something small, but user facing, to be honest. Okay. Uh, but I'm sure yeah, we can find something. Yeah, that's for sure. And I still uh, have a plan to propose one line fix for Jenkins for the runner. So yeah, I can just submit it. Okay. Just to read global tool um, configuration, if Daniel would reply. Or even Felix's timestamp footer thing we could go in. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we can take it offline. But so Oliver, uh, sorry, Olivia, what's your preference about the time uh, when you would like to ship it? So for for me, we can we can plan Thursday. Seems to be a good time. Uh, okay. Let's say let's say bring in. I mean, let's say uh, the time where we have uh, people on the US and people in the Europe, like um, three or four. Uh, PM UTC, maybe 3 PM UTC. Let's let's see the best time. But um, I can send an invite for uh, Thursday to the people okay. involved. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Uh, we also need to send heads up to the developer mailing list just in case. Uh, so, Oliver, if you could do that, it would be great. And on our side, we will uh, prepare some changes in the master branch tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, just a uh, quick reminder on the time on the timing here. Um, triggering a release, the release job take up around one hour thirty, um, and the packaging job take around thirty minutes. Um, in, in the thirty minutes, you have fifteen minutes really to generate the packages. Uh, you have fifteen minutes to generate the packages, and you have fifteen minutes used to synchronize the different mirrors. Should we trigger the release earlier? Because that the, re the, re the release doesn't really matter so much. It's just. Yeah. Release is just what we're building. If we, if you just trigger it around lunchtime, as long as we merge before then, and then it's the actual it's the actual packaging and deploying the artifacts that matters. Well, and and don't don't be hesitant to do it earlier in your day, Olivier, because Alex and I are both, though we're in the U.S. time zone, we are certainly early risers, and on Thursday morning we'll be up very. At least I'll be up very early. Marky, I don't know for you, but but I think you should feel free to do it any time on Thursday. Don't yeah. don't delay till your afternoon. Agreed. Agreed here too. I just quick check before uh, I go to the, the credentials. I just want to be sure. Um, so Oleg has a permission to 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 push to Jenkins CI slash Jenkins on the master branch. If I'm right. No. Well, no. they have never requested these permissions. So, because basically, I will have so in the current process, um, I will have. So let me open the variables. Um, so you need you need you need a write key to Jenkins to the Jenkins repository, right? Yes, definitely. Yep. So I need I need uh, I need to be able to write the Jenkins. Al yes, the Jenkins. Alex, yeah, Alex has access to do that. Yeah, okay. I, have, I have access on the org. Um, um, so I also need um, the right permission on the Maven repository. I don't have access to do our artifactory stuff. That's, so is it, I, is, I it on, is, is it only a Daniel? I think that might be Daniel. If it's Daniel and uh, Tyler are the only two that I know of. Uh, yeah. JC Greek should have access. So who? Uh, JC Greek. Yeah. Well, technically, we could uh, grant access to someone, but Olivier, I think it would be better that uh, since you have full access to the process, you could just orchestrate it. And if you need permissions uh, to push uh, to the core, I think you can grant them by Thursday. Yep. So I just want to that. Yeah. Uh, so Jenkins, yes, yeah, so Jenkins, Artifactory, and I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Um, so yeah, right. Okay, 
That, that, yeah, that, sound, that sounds like a great plan. I'm really happy to test this. Um, there is also another topic where Marky was, is helping his uh, auditing the, the Kubernetes cluster and see how we can improve the security process. I don't know if you have any update that you want to do here, Marky. I ran, yeah, I ran the initial scan uh, and it didn't break anything because nobody said anything, so that's a positive. Uh, I ran that. Uh, I need to configure the scan again to run I, what I want to do on the second, I want to see if it gave me the same results back. That way I know it's actually running correctly. Uh, and then I will run finally before next uh, info meeting, I'll run a third scan and then I'll publish the results. Uh, when I publish the results, I won't make those public. I'll publish them in a spreadsheet that I will, uh, I'll share with everybody on this call. Okay, which tool are you using for the scan? Sonar boy. Sonar boy. Yeah. Okay. So it was uh, it was a tool designed by Heptio, and now they're under VMware. But that's pretty. Uh, I I looked at Spotify's, uh, Cube 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 audit, and I they did the reason that I did not like that tool is it required too many permissions, uh, and and instead of adding the permissions separately, it altered existing permissions. And I did not like that because I did not want to have to go back in and change uh, those cluster admin permissions in the RBAP. Okay, thanks. Thanks for the this. Um, yeah, thanks. Um, there is there any other questions or topic on the automated release? So I don't know if you already started thinking about how we plan to release as well the stable uh, release, or is it still too early to, to discuss about that? Or let's just focus on the weekly. Focus on weekly for me. Yeah. yeah okay. I expect I expect several surprises on this one and several more surprises next week. And we're going to proudly by the end of April say we got it all right. Okay. I, I, ju I just want to be sure that it's still in our head. So if we have to, to implement a fix, um, it does not impact the way we would release the stable releases. So that's the only thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. sorry, uh, I have network issues. Didn't mean to interrupt you. I just wanted to ask whether we want to establish some communication channels for Jenkins Core uh, for Thursday. Uh, it looks like it would be a good thing to have them uh, uh, when we do all these releases. Uh, and yeah, there is ongoing Holy War about Slack versus Gitter versus Matrix versus whatever. Uh, but uh, maybe we could uh, make an intermediate decision how we communicate uh, uh, during uh, this release. So to, to me, to me, to me, the, the most important one is the Jenkins uh, mailing list, the Jenkins dev mailing list, right? Well, well but I thought, yeah, I thought you were, I thought Oleg was targeting high interaction communications, uh, oh. back and forth, not, not, not informational. No, no. Okay, 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 sorry. Yeah. Oleg, did yeah, I okay. misunderstand you? Yeah, that's totally right. For example, we had the same case with Alex Earl and team uh, with regards to Docker agent renaming, in, uh, <laughs> Docker Gitter. So it was also quite a runtime communication. And yeah, if we end up with needing something like that for Jenkins Core, I would rather prefer to have a channel for that. Okay, so now the question is, my assumption was we would use IRC because that's what we've done before with Jenkins Infra. Um, no point. But that's my that's my assumption as well, and yeah, that's my assumption as well. And all the people involved in this uh, can use IRC anyway. So yeah. okay, then IRC it is. Well, so Oleg, were you were you considering? Hey, should we try something? Try a, another channel? For me, I like IRC right now because it's familiar, and while we're doing something that will be new and somewhat unfamiliar using a familiar channel felt like a healthy thing to do. So the question is, which, what new tool do you want to bring in the loop? And I, I, in this case, I don't. I want to stay with the old tool, personally, <laughs> just, just so that I don't have to worry about tool changes and build changes. We can change tools later, a week or two from now. I, I agree with that sentiment. Uh, I agree with Mark's sentiment. 
I definitely think there should be a discussion about the tool change, uh, but I don't think it should happen in conjunction with the release. Okay, so let's stick to RC for now. Um, yeah, otherwise, if we don't have any other topic that we want to discuss, I think we can stop the meeting here. I just had one thing that would be good to get fixed. Um, um, incrementals has been broken for a few weeks. Um, with the, I think the passwords expired. But I'm assuming that you don't have access currently to fix that, Olivia. When, when but, you say, no. Tim, when you say incrementals broken, incrementals for Jenkins Core, incrementals for for all everything, Incre incrementals publisher. Oh, oh and I yeah. so it so gets, we, a, we, it gets we, a great tag. So the credit the credential is to for Artifactory, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the Artifactory credential. Is, looks it looks like it's the Artifactory credential. Um, would you have a logs that we can that you could share? I mean, it gets a four hundred three. Uh, okay. When it tries to publish, it gets a four hundred three, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Then, then I can contact Daniel to see. Um, yeah, if you if you can share as many information, that would be useful. But otherwise, there's, I'll contact. There's, a, there's at least two tickets open. I'm trying to find it. So that that would be a help for me as well. I actually have a pull request to a certain plugin I maintain that needs an incremental from another plugin. So I didn't realize it was broken, and I awkwardly suggested that the student suggesting it should use incrementals. And so now I've lied to the student. Sorry about that. Yeah, it, it's getting a green tick, but it's because it's, it's right, it doesn't it's, fail to build if it fails. It's ignoring, it's ignoring errors just like it should, except that we're ignoring the error like we shouldn't. Got it. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Here it is. Here's Jesse, so Jesse raised this one. Uh, it's an ISC. Now. Can you share the, the, the ticket either on IRC or in the document? It, it's in IRC. Okay. okay. Maybe I'm just disconnected from IRC. Yep, I mean disconnected from IRC. That's why. So the other thing is that yeah. So I can see I can see the function, but I can't see the logs to the function. It'd be nice to sort that. Um, okay, so yeah, just one last question before we wind up this call. Um, is there any person interested to participate in the Fastly configuration? Do I mean, is there someone who wants to have access to the accounts? Because right now it's only it's only Kazuki and me. Um, I'd be interested in helping out. Okay, so I can send you an invite. I had one quick item if, if, if there's nothing else. Yep. So we're going to have um, S390X and PowerPC and ARM uh, agents coming up. Um, our labeling right now for like Docker jobs is just the Docker and label. Um, so we need to come up with some <clears throat> labeling mechanism, whether we want to change things that currently just require Docker to require Docker and something else, um, or Mark doesn't like that idea. Um, but we need some way of labeling things so that we don't put the wrong jobs on the wrong, or the job, the right job on the wrong agent uh, within the infrastructure. So just something to think about. Okay, um, I don't know if you had the time to, because I did not follow anything regarding um, the work there, but regarding the IBM infrastructure, the adding those as agent and Seattle Jenkins at Ion and, and so on, what's the current status there? Because we, as far as I know, we still have to, we still have, we still have some script to configure those those infrastructure, and then we still have to add those machines to Seattle Jenkins at Ion, right? Yeah, so. that's correct. Currently, we, we do have ARM, you, you added the um, Packer imaging for ARM on AWS at least. So we have that and that is Docker capable. Um, so we can't label it as just Docker. So do we, do we want to start doing ARM Docker, you know, S390 Docker uh, as one label? That just uh, And we can talk about it on IRC. I just wanted to get people thinking about it. Yeah. Isn't there, is there a platform labeler plugin that does this for you? There is, but I'm not sure that, it, yeah, there is, and we could consider that. I'll bring it to IRC and we can have a conversation. There's also an implied labels, um, there's an implied labels 
plugin that will use apply rules to existing labels to generate new labels for us. So we could we could talk about both those. Yeah. I just know that there are a ton of uh, <clears throat> things in like the pipeline library that look for just Docker as a label. Right, and, and, and stuff I think like that. So that's why I think we so should think not. Docker really implies AMD sixty four and yeah. etc. Exactly, and we should just admit that that's the reality. We're never going to be able to change that, whether we like it or not. Yeah, but so but for these special ones, they just need some other label or some suffix or something. Yeah, right. whatever the best way to do that. Because we'll need it for doc. We've got something like that with WinDoc right now, right? Right, Alex. So so we just need to choose a, a a scheme that will work for us dealing with multiple platforms and not breaking the compatibility we have the existing labels. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue this discussion on our team. Um, thanks for your time and see you later. Bye bye. Thanks. Cheers, everybody. Thanks.